now we'll do tibia. And the tibia and the femur fit together to create the knee joint. Those are the only two bones. Even though there is a, a third bone, okay, it's not part of the, the knee joint. Okay, so it's the two condyles of the femur meeting up with the two condyles of the tibia. Right? So that's how they fit together and it creates a hinge joint. Right? A hinge joint. Okay, again, we have to get some perspective here. One condyle is called medial and one's called lateral. How do we know? Well, we use this as our landmark, right? This little projection that sticks off of the bone here. This is known as a malleolus. This is the medial malleolus. Therefore, we have the medial condyle, lateral condyle. And in between these two condyles, instead of there being a depression, there's an elevation. There's these two little bumps. It's they call the intercondylar eminence. Intercondylar eminence. Two little bumps that stick up off of the bone. Okay? These two bumps, the eminence, fit into the depression. And coming off of those two bumps are two intracapsular ligaments, meaning the anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments of the knee, ACL, PCL, come off of these two bumps and attach to the floor of the fossa, locking the knee in place. And those ligaments are very, very good when you do this, creating nice stability. But if you do this, whoops, or this, whoops, or this, not good. You tear the ligaments. ACL tear, PCL tear. Very common in the knee, but that's where they live. As we make our way down, okay, we're going to come to the shaft or the diaphysis. There's a little elevation here. That's the tibial tuberosity. That's where your large quadricep muscle group attaches. Okay, area common for inflammation. Okay. Then we're running down the shaft, and again, that posterior aspect is somewhat smooth. The anterior aspect is more ridged. All right. And then we come down to the surfaces for the ankle. Okay, and we saw this is medial malleolus, and this is the articular surface of the tibia, meaning this is the surface for this. One of the bones of the ankle, okay, known as the talus, fits here within that surface. Makes a beautiful hinge joint for the ankle. Okay, the articular surface of the tibia. Medial malleolus, the shaft or diaphysis, medial medial condyle, lateral condyle, intercondylar eminence, and tibial tuberosity.